Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, I'm looking at my position log for the last, uh, my time today, March 29th, I believe. Um, March 29th, uh, March 29th, 11.49 p.m. So these are the ones that were recommended by the system that I'm trading right now. Let me go over to mytradingview.com. Okay, so these are the ones that are being recommended right now. So we got Singapore dollar against the Japanese yen. That was a recent trade. Uh, let me just see here. How do we? Okay, so we want Oanda, which is what we're using. Eleven forty, my time. So what do we got here? So it's up a quarter percent. I have to find a better source. This this trading view is pretty slow. Wow, it's so slow. I could go to market. Let me go to market. Market watch. Okay, it's a sell. Let's say in a minute, intraday. Sorry about this. I'm going to check uh, Market Watch, see what they've got. They, they can be pretty good too. Sell. So let's look at the one minute strong sell. So that's definitely not a good combination, even though it says a quarter percent. Wow. I think even Market Watch is just as bad. If anyone else got better source to look up this stuff fast and easy, be appreciated. Let's check out Australian Japanese yen. If you are interested to know about this, you can get our books at uh, quantlabs.net slash books. I'm also going to be making this part of my quant analytics service. So this may be too late to the party. Unbelievable. So that's up 0.41%. Just it's so slow. I don't know if they do this on purpose or not. Jeez, that's really bad. look for another okay so that's in a cell as well so it's not doing too good so let's see the USD uh, Japanese yen I can also tell you what's on the watch list as well that might help that's up 0.13 percent I'll look up one more Canadian Hong Kong dollar sell again okay so i'll do one more on what's been traded so we're looking at the uh uh let's say chf japanese yen i gotta tell you uh trading view is getting bad it's very slow so let's see what other sources there are live daily fx forex charts forex live fx street mm. Let's try uh, daily FX rate and see if that comes up with a fast chart. Okay. <clears throat> so this is down 0.2, but it's still in a buy. Okay. So I'm going to say screw that. Let's go through the watch list because that's more important, not what has been, but what is about to.
So right now I've got eight pairs on the watch list. Let me just see which ones. Okay, so we have eight pairs. I'm going to look. So we've looked at a bunch of them. So let me just see what we've got here. Okay, this might work. Uh, this is dailyfx.com. All right, so uh, how does this stupid thing work? Okay, um, more rates. So if I want, okay, we'll do USD Huff. Let's see what this says. Everything is so slow. This is a little better. So what do we have here? Um, a lot of these charting have a lot of junk on them. So this looks pretty good actually. Uh, when you look at, uh, doesn't include the signaling and all that. Let me just go back to the uh, uh, trading view here. Uh, a lot of this stuff is crap. Too slow. Look at that. So it's up 0 0.31, which is pretty good. I, all I care about is the signal, the technicals. Okay, so that's a buy. Let's do Euro, Huff. I think there are, these are the only two that are worthwhile right now. Man, so that's up 0.35 as well. Yeah, so that's a buy as well. CAD, Jap uh, USD, so we checked out all everything against the Japanese yen. I'll do one more against the Hong Kong dollar, Canadian against the uh, Hong Kong dollar. Let's see how that's doing. So that's up 0.61%. This is so bad. Sell. So the only ones worth worth trading is the USD Huff and the Euro Huff. That's right now the top two. Hopefully uh, that will help you out. Um, sorry about the delay, but not my fault. Uh, trading view sucks. Uh, we'll see if these watch lists will be more reliable as I test them more. So hopefully. Uh, that will help you out. Talk to you later.